Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick comparison between Manjaro Linux version 21 on the left-hand side here and OpenSUSE uh, version, well, 2022 version on the right-hand side here, uh, which is the, they're both rolling releases. And just to let you know, on the right-hand side here for OpenSUSE, it's the Tumbleweed Edition. AKRR RR rolling release there. Now, starting off, uh, let's have a little bit of a look at the, uh, the 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 actual desktop environment. So they are both running the GNOME desktop environment, as we can see here. So you've got your workspace flows that you can work with there. Got the little bit of an extra option there on the uh, the top there for Manjaro. We've got the show applications setting there as well, so that's nice to see. Not exactly categorized like, say, other distros, but uh, if you just type in what you're looking for, you will be sure to find it there there. Uh, now next up, let's say we have a bit of a look at the file manager. So uh, with the file manager, almost always we are running with the same old GNOME files uh, file manager there. The major difference between the two is really just the looks here. So we've got this, ugh, this ugly color um, stock standard GNOME files interface. I'm just not a big fan of it to be honest, the way that they've gone about that. Whereas Manjaro is a nice dark mode with the side tab, the, the changed icon sets, blue, colorized, different color accents and tones. Just just love it. It's just those little, those little things that I enjoy. Functionality otherwise is very much the same. If we look at the back end here, we'll see a few uh, similarities and or differences, but uh, we have the uh, kernel. So the 5.15 kernel for, for Manjaro. I'll just let you know, Manjaro is actually based on Arc Linux. Whereas, uh, let's see what we are dealing with. So it should be pretty similar because they are both fairly, almost latest and greatest. We've got the 5.16 kernel for OpenSUSE. So uh, much of a muchness there, I'll say. You can also see we've got the newer version of the GNOME interface, whereas the slightly older uh, 41 versus 42 there. So Manjaro being uh, taking the cake for a little bit newer in terms of the GNOME, GNOME interface there. Just want to right click here and see what's going on. My only issue is GNOME across the board has this uh, really simple right click context menu with just a few options. I do generally like a little bit more, not the least of which is say a, a, a terminal option there. Last but not least, let's have a look at the RAM and CPU usage on boot up. So they are both mostly idling off there with the CPU. The RAM is a different story. So we are running at 730 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Manjaro, whereas OpenSUSE uses it a little bit more at 800 megabytes of RAM. Again, much of a muchness, always to be taken with a grain of salt, but this is just what it looks like <coughs> on boot up. I'm coughing a fit. So I'm gonna stop the video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. <coughs> Cheers.